Hey everybody, it's the cooking doc here, Dr. Blake Schusterman. Most of you know this, but I'm a nephrologist, I'm a kidney doctor, and I care for people who have kidney disease, high blood pressure, heart disease, heart failure, liver disease, a whole spectrum of problems. And one of the things that is important for a lot of my patients is that they eat a low sodium diet. So what I often hear from my patients is they say, well, I've started using sea salt instead of regular salt, just to make sure I'm doing better for my health. And so I thought it'd be fun today if I took a few minutes and I went through the type of salts I have at home and the health benefits of each one. Let me start by saying this first and clearly, all salt is salt. Let me say that again. All salt is salt. So iodized salt is what most of us use in baking. It's got a little bit of a chemically taste, so I don't use it for salads and things like that. But iodine has been added to salt in order to prevent iodine deficiency in a lot of parts of the world because iodine deficiency can lead to thyroid problems and other health problems. So that's it. As far as health benefit from one type of salt versus another, iodized salt has iodine in it. I use it for baking. I don't use it really for anything else in my house. This right here is kosher salt, coarse kosher salt. As you can see, it kind of has a little bigger grains than normal salt, and I keep it out in a little bowl, just like this. When I need salt, I take a little pinch, put it right on my vegetables. It's simple, it's easy. I use a little bit throughout the cooking process. This is my go-to salt, kosher salt. This is sea salt. Sea salt is just like any other salt. It's not healthier, it doesn't have less sodium in it, it's the same. The sea salt has maybe a little bit of a different flavor than the kosher salt, but really it can be used anytime you would use kosher salt. I use sea salt just as something to change it up a little bit. I keep it on the table to season my food at the end, but there's no benefit to using sea salt over kosher salt or table salt. Now for the controversial one. If you look on the internet, you would think that pink Himalayan salt is the cure for all that ails you. Because the claim that it has more elements, it's not as processed as regular salt, there's this theory that it is better for you. Helps keep your electrolytes balanced. That's nonsense. Total nonsense. Himalayan salt is 95 to 98% sodium chloride, regular salt. It has a trace amount of other elements, and so it is not any better for your health. Now, who doesn't love a little bit of pink salt? I mean, look at it. It's beautiful, right? It's fun. Eating and choosing salt is really not about health, always. It's about fun. Little pink salt. Put it on your food. Keep it out on the table. It's a conversation starter. I love it. Lastly, we got this thing called Malden salt. Now, if you look at this box, this is a worn through box of salt. And the reason why it's worn through is because I don't use molten salt very often. It has these huge flakes, which give you a burst of salt. It's a finishing salt. You use it at the very end of your dish when you wanna really have a salt pop when you take a bite. I find it's a little too salty for me. I almost never want a big salt crystal bite but it's a lot of fun also to use if you have people that enjoy that kind of flavor. And if you're careful about how much salt you put in the rest of your food and your ingredients as you're cooking it, it's okay to finish your dish with a little bit of salt. So remember this, choose the type of salt you're cooking with based on flavor, based on presentation, based on what excites you. The only health benefit to one type of salt over the other is the iodized salt will help protect your thyroid. Everything else, sea salt, culture salt, molten salt, Himalayan pink salt, it's all sodium chloride. It doesn't matter. Change your buds and learn to use just a little bit of salt while you're cooking. It will really enhance the flavor, but don't overdo it. For more health information, make sure you stop by my website, thecookingdoc.co. I've got a blog. Sign up for my email list, weekly tips and recipes directly to your inbox, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.